Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Pastor Rod coming to you from Word of Faith Family Church in wonderful Wilmer, Minnesota. Uh, this evening, I'm going to just uh, uh, take a few moments here. And um, I entitled a mini message this evening, Unmovable, Unmovable Faith in a Moving Society. Uh, Smith Wigglesworth said this. He said, I'm not moved by what I see. I'm moved only by the Word of God. There's a lot to look at in the world today. There's a lot going on. There always has been, but it just seems like things have been accelerated. And if you keep your eyes on the wrong thing, you're going to have a wrong perspective of the power of God in your life and uh, the possibilities that he has for you. If you just keep on looking up at what's going on around you in the world and, and uh, take your eyes off his word. So um, Malachi 3.6 says this, For I am the Lord, I do not change. Thank God that no matter how much the world changes God and his word never change Jesus said it said about Jesus in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever I want to read from the hundred and second psalm starting with verse 25 and I'm going to read out of the amplified bible it says this at the beginning you existed and laid the foundations of the earth the heavens are the work of your hands they shall perish, but you shall remain and endure. Yes, all of them shall wear out and become old like a garment. Like clothing, you shall change them, and they shall be changed and pass away. But you, talking about God, remain the same, and your years shall never have no end. The children of your servants shall dwell safely and continue, and their descendants shall be established before you forever. Your faith needs to be unshakable in a shaky culture. Your faith needs to be un unbroke, unbroke, excuse me, unbreakable in a broken world. And your faith needs to be alive in a dying world. Hebrews chapter 11. Let me get there quickly here. Hebrews the 11th chapter. Verse 1 says this, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The Amplified Bible says, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as fact what is not revealed to the senses. And then jump on down to verse 3 here. It says, By faith we understand that the worlds during the successive ages were framed, fashioned, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of God, so that what we see was not made out of things which were visible. And then I'll keep on going down here to verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please or be satisfactory to him. For whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him out. Man, these are the days that we need to be seeking out from the word of God and in prayer and in fellowship with other believers, seeking out God's heart, seeking out God's ways. Hebrews chapter 12, 1, it says, Therefore then we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us Strip off and throw aside every encumbrance, unnecessary weight, and that sin which so readily, deftly, and cleverly clings to and entangles us. And let us run with patient endurance and steady and active persistent, persistence, the appointed course of the race that is set before us. And I love how it says this in the Amplified, Amplified Bible. Looking away from all that will distract Man, there's a lot of distractions in the day in which we're living. But looking away from all that will distract to Jesus, who is the leader and the source of our faith, giving the first incentive of our belief and is also its finisher, bringing it to maturity and perfection. He, for the joy of obtaining the prize that was set before him, endured the cross, despising and ignoring the shame, and is now seated at the right hand of the throne of God. You know, it does not take faith to look around and see the mess that this world is in. I mean, it's obvious. But it takes faith to know, believe, 
and receive that God's grace is sufficient to live in victory and peace in a godless, peaceless, truthless, secular, humanistic, socialistic society. These are the days, I've said many times, that faith is for. You'll not be able to live successfully, accidentally anymore. We must live on purpose according to the Word of God. You know, no more than I could run a marathon tomorrow and win or even finish or even get two blocks from the starting line um, because I'm not prepared. It's time to prepare and be ready always. Instant, in season, and out. Things may not look good in these, this country or around this world, but things sure look good in the Word, if you walk in the Word. We need to be doers of the Word and not hearers only. I thank God for the plan that He has for the body of Christ in these last days. I believe that it's a plan for victory because God does not change. His plan does not change. The Word says that we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. We can do all things through Christ. We can do all things through Christ. Thank God for his word. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the fellowship of believers. And we just thank God that, that he saw fit in his plan for us to be alive during these crazy, mixed up, screwed up, wild and crazy days in which we're living in. Thank God for the victory. Thank God for his power. Thank God for his peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and guarding our minds. No matter what comes up in the world, we can walk in peace in Jesus' name. Hey, I'd like to invite you out to Word of Faith Family Church. Sunday mornings, we have our service at 10 o'clock, uh, 3010 7th Avenue Northwest in wonderful Wilmer, Minnesota. If you're not able to be with us inside the sanctuary, uh, you can certainly watch us by live stream. And that starts at 10.30 Wednesday evenings, 7 o'clock. We have ministry for all, all family except for nursery, but the nursery is open for parents that may have, um, you know, children that need, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of space or whatever. Come on out. We'd love to see you. We'd love to meet you. Um, for those of you who are part of AFCM and haven't been here in a while, you know who you are. It'd be great to see you again. We miss you dearly. So, Father, I just thank you for this opportunity that we've had. We thank you, Father, for your power and strength to live in these challenging days. Because in Christ, by the greater one that lives within us, we are up for any challenge that the world would throw at us or the devil would throw at us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Uh, see you Sunday or next Wednesday in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Have a great week.